Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be reviewing this e.l.f. skin cleanser. Most of the cleansers are usually created to just gently cleanse your skin, but it doesn't clean your makeup fully, even though some of the cleanser states are on the description that they remove makeup, but they actually don't. So I found this e.l.f. holy hydration cleanser uh, and actually saves me some time because I don't have to double cleanse and it's also budget friendly so that's a big plus at the moment uh, I have my foundation on I have mascara I filled in my mm, eyebrows with the pencil I have a little bit of shadows as an eyeliner so this is what I have on my face at the moment this is already my second jar of this product so it has this cap, you don't have to keep it like that, I just keep it, I don't know why. <laughs> I was looking for a <laughs> spatula, because it comes with a spatula. You can just keep it in the lid. Before it had a bit straighter spatula, so it didn't actually fit in the container. So now it's really nice that you can just keep it in the lid. So yeah, you can use spatula to take the product out, so you don't need to use your fingers and possibly contaminate it, but a lot of people doesn't care. <laughs> so how much I'm using it on my face, it depends on how much makeup I have that day. So I usually don't wear full heavy makeup, mostly it's like this. I would just use this much and it would be plenty, maybe even too much. I don't know if you can see. And one more thing, you don't need to wet your face before you cleanse it with this cleanser. Actually, I think you're not even supposed to put water on your face before applying this because when you apply it on a dry face, it melts everything and you can massage it very well to your skin. But if you wet your face first, this product would kind of slide off your face and it wouldn't cleanse that well. The texture is very thick so you can easily take it with a spatula it even looks a bit grainy but when you start rubbing it on the skin it becomes this oily texture so it melts everything from your face but it's not hard to wash it off it washes off very easy when you're done massaging it you already see that most of the makeup is off and i'm just gonna wash it off with the water now So this is it, the towel, no residue or anything. Um, so this cleanser did a very good job. I really like it and I think it's gonna be my new staple. I used to also like Blur London cleanser, but it is actually quite expensive. And this one is quite budget friendly, as I mentioned before. So I'm just thinking I'm gonna stick to this one. Looking at the ingredient list, uh, it has some nice uh, ingredients like glycerin and niacinamide and some other goodies as you can see there but also it's not perfect it has perfume in it it is something that i try to avoid in my skincare but in this particular case i really love this cleanser and i'm just gonna close my eyes to this perfume thing because it does the job if you want to find something with good ingredients you will need to go to um, aesthetician for recommendations because usually they have all the good products and it's not over the counter so overall I really like this product and I can't recommend it enough I'm gonna leave the Amazon link in the description box below um, I personally buy it from Amazon so I hope you enjoy this cleanser as well let me know in the comments below what is your favorite face cleansing method or if you have any any um, favorite product for cleansing your face and removing makeup, I would love to know it. Also, I just want to say something to my subscribers. You probably noticed that I was gone from YouTube for some time now. Just wanted to let you know why. Um, so uh, when I was creating the same type of content all the time, I kind of lost my motivation. This routine was not exciting for me anymore. But overall, I really like creating content for you. So I have decided to 
do some changes. I'm still gonna upload skincare product uh, reviews, but as you probably already know, healthy skin is not only about the skincare you use, it's about the lifestyle you lead and how physically active you are, as well as the food you eat. There's so many points and factors that goes into healthy looking skin. That is why I'm gonna include more of this type of videos as well. So I hope you're gonna like this new spin on my channel. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I will see you very soon. Bye!